Big smile. Cheese. Today I'm down at Summerhays Fishery helping Summerhays Junior Club run the uh, inaugural John Proctor Memorial Match. Now, for those of you that didn't know John Proctor, he was a fishing coach, sadly died last year. And uh, each year we run this match uh, in his memory. So Finn joined us. When did you join the club? massive big up for that stepping straight up to do a match when you've only been a member of the club for such a short period of time right nice one good luck how are you getting on are you catching I hope something. not yet uh, she lost one just oh uh, unlucky in this match we tried to make it as inclusive as possible so you'll see people with all the kit you'll also see people with just a short pole or a uh, a fishing rod and that's it peg 15 we've got jack yeah, I've four. Four? Oh, nice. Are you enjoying yourself today? Yes. So peg 17, we've got Ava. How are you getting on? I've tackled Every time I've looked round, you've got a fish on. So on peg 18, we have got Kieran, who started off on the long pole, I think 13 metres out. I got one, two carp, one silver and one bream. What's that yellow stuff you've got behind you? Mama Liga, it's called. Wicked, and you caught on that? Yeah. Sweet, what's it made of? It's like cornflower. Good luck, guys. All right, thank you. 26, you got Curtis fishing the far bank on a feeder. Best of luck. Jackson on peg 28 is into a big fish there. He's definitely one of those that can do pretty much everything himself. So Peter and Sally at Summerhays Fishery have been supporting Fish Wish projects for over a decade now and their support has been incredible. We now have a coaching pond called Denny's, specifically designed for coaching and having multiple people on the bank. They have regular matches for adults and there's one taking place now on Selix. These match anglers that you'll see on the adult scene end up donating a lot of the kit that the juniors end up using. Ignore the phone. Well played. Sometimes I undo the bay alarm, Jackson, so there's no pressure on that fish at all then. And you don't have to worry about that hook bouncing back into your fingers. So you've had to miss out a few pegs because there's a massive algae bloom at one end. The first priority above everything else is the safety of young people taking part. Right, you saw that. Right, look at Charlie. Well played. It's a video, so you don't have to freeze. You can keep All moving. Right. <laughs> right. Barbecue, 12.30 to 1.30. I did go on pole, then I went down the sides and I caught the, the like, small roach. I would have had three, but like, there were baby ones and they just fell off. You've got boilies, maggots, a pellet mix. Is that for your method feeder, is it? Yeah. And some pellets for hook bait. What tips would you give some of the beginners? Nice. I've been talking to everyone about fish for the last hour and a half. What's that? It looks fantastic. It's a wrap. Guess what he said? What? I said, if you like that, capital D, big belly. And he went, like me dad. And I went, I'll tell him that when he comes back. Uh, three mirrors, and two, um, two mirrors, and one common. Nice. Any size? The, the carp? Uh, Last one. My commiserations, Ray just told me. Where do you uh, hook it? On a feeder? Yeah. Is that on your secret bait? Uh, yeah. Conquer method is you get your hook bait, get a bit of paste, and wrap it around your hook length like that and you still feed fill out your swim feeder or method feeder with bait so they got two types of bait and there's your conquer and that's what call that big fish yeah very we nice put three on like it nice yeah good stuff <laughs>
Right, some of the guys have been struggling to get bites on the feeder, and right. it's partly because of their um, their rigs. Sometimes the hook lengths are too long, sometimes they're not burying their bait in the feeder. Shown me by Mr. Jackson himself. You better get in that in there, or else you'll be claiming yeah. copyright. It's not my copyright, it's yeah. Jacko's copyright. Now, normally, when you're on a hair, yeah. you would wind, keep winding down. Yeah, I normally go six times through and then yeah. back through the back of the hook. Yeah. On the KD, you wind three times down, then you pull the hair up out the way, and then you go back down the hook, as you would normally. Mm -hmm. So so the hair comes out the between, the three out the side. between the two lots of turns? Yes. Yeah, I see. And then you go, you finish the knotless knot as normal, back up. So you've gone back round, was that three or four times? Yeah, about three or four Ab times. Above the loop, might just be where you bit through the line and maybe it's not pointed. But I get the, the, the principle there is... Yeah, the principle that, is... Is that you go three times down, kick the loop over, yeah. and then do another three turns below it to keep that loop kicked well, out. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably do it more than three times below. And it ends up, imagine that's your band. Mm on there it'd be a lot shorter yeah it turns it into a circle hook by the time the pellet goes on there it yeah. turns the hook it kicks the hook over doesn't it so, so i thought when you said it i thought you'd do shrink tube well, that does it nicely didn't it yes. thank you very much sir that's okay i shall add that to my coaching repertoire <laughs> the size of that wow. one <laughs> there's a big one in there did you get that big one Right, on the pole. Let's have a look. My word, I've never seen something off. <laughs> Good start. Blade. Blade. Very nice. 70.40. Two different species. Oh, I'm next. And uh, he's got a grin on his face, which says there might be something special in the net. We'll see. Yeah, 5.52. 5.52. Well played, Jackson. Five, six, a skimmer, a roach, a rud. I'm not sure if we're doing soaps, are we? Doing soaps yeah, of course we are. Fish. Scaly ones. Hey, you got a mirror. Oh, mirror. Yeah. yeah. So, a very quick thank you to the sponsors. So, the sponsors are Somerset Angling, who donated vouchers, the fishery, who let us use the lake for free. Um, We've got Alex Fraser, the coach, who's given us some uh, tackle. Kenny Parsons has given us some tackle. I want to thank the coaches and the volunteers, the adults that have come down and made it work today, um, including those that have helped with the barbecue and food. And the John Proctor Memorial Cup goes to Ava. So well done, Ava. You've worked so hard for this. You've been the first one down here, the last one to finish on practice sessions, and it's paid off. So congratulations, and we'll get your name on that. You can keep hold of it for a year, get your name on there, and see if you can win it next year. Our first prize medal. In second place with £47.35 is Jackson. Well done, Jackson. So you get second prize, you get your trophy, and you also get second choice on the prize table, and then one of the lucky dips. Third place with thirty-five pounds seven, we've got Jack. Well done, Jack. That's your third prize medal. Well done. And please take a pick from the vouchers or the tackle. Right. Silvers. One pound three ounces is Philip, who also caught five species. So you actually get. You get both. <laughs> well done. Finley has won biggest carp today. So if you want to come up and collect a trophy, a round of applause, please. Well done, mate. I'm sorry about the confusion as well. We'll sort that one out. So if you want to choose a prize, you've got a 20 pound voucher, or there's a keep net, a landing net, a day shelter, a rod. That's the feeder rod. <laughs> he knows what he wants. Brilliant. Uh, new members trophy for biggest weight if they haven't framed already which goes to Alfie with 22 pounds nine so go round of applause for Alfie please well done Alfie so there we go if we can point look at the camera well done fifth place is Finn 
Round of applause for Finn, please. <laughs> Back again. Yep, take a medal. Shona is sixth. Can we just give everyone a round of applause? Which is 12 pounds, three ounces. Seventh place, we've got Kieran with 10 pounds, five eight. Well done, Kieran. Darius with five pounds, seven four in eighth. And we've got Curtis with five pounds, seven two. He beat you by 0 0.2. Anything on here and then something off there. Well done. So that, everyone, is a wrap. Thanks so much for coming and uh, well done to the winners. You have a... Is it a game? You be quiet. Let's have a look at this massive fish then, John. Let's have a look at it. I want to keep the camera rolling. No, turn that camera off.